Hello lads, uh, so I'm going to be away at Insomnia 61 in Birmingham this weekend in the UK, uh, which is a gaming festival, uh, it's great fun, you get to meet up with your mates, have a bit of a play around, have a drink or two, if you're over 18 and all that, um, and have a bit of fun. So I'm doing this video quite quickly, uh, as I won't be here over the weekend to make videos for you guys. So today we're just going to be chatting about a few things that are changing with the driving test in the UK, and uh, learning in general at Actually leading up to the end of this year. So as a few of you may have heard, the driving test is changing on December the 4th, uh, 2017. So the end of this year, if you're watching in 2017. Uh, and what's happening is we've been over this a little bit before, but we didn't actually have a date. So we're going to get into this fairly quickly. The independent driving test is changing to 20 minutes, uh, up from the 10 minutes it was before. We're not going to go into uh, too much detail of what the independent driving test is today, as we have previous videos on this, and you can find plenty of videos in it from some great YouTubers online as well. Um, but the independent driving test is increasing to replicate real-world driving, um, which a lot of people think is lacking in the current driving test system. And, and yeah, I agree. Uh, it definitely needs to be more of a focus on real world driving and getting people to drive you know under their own steam and without someone constantly pointing them out where to go what to do and how to do it that sort of thing so 20 minutes is what independent driving is going to be um, there's going to be following directions from a sat nav which will be provided by an examiner apparently a tom tom start 52 there you go uh, i'm gonna find an image of one of them it looks like that I'm sure it's a normal Tom Tom, so if you can do that, that's fine. You can get some practice in. I'm sure driving instructors will start incorporating that into their lessons as well. And if not, then borrow one of your parents and get them to stick it on the windscreen and practice with that. Uh, you have to use the one supplied by the examiner, apparently, as well. So you can't supply your own or follow your own, which is interesting. No idea why. I guess so you can't put tips up or cheat. I don't know how you cheat. Maybe you'd put... This is, it reminds you what a clutch is. <laughs> so turn in the road and reverse around the corner are gone as we've previously mentioned. And uh, we have these three now instead. So there's parallel park, there's park in a bay. So like if you're gonna go to a shopping center and park in the car park there. And pulling up on the right hand side of the road, reversing back two car lengths and then rejoining traffic. So the show me tell me questions are changing slightly too, where one of them is going to be before you start driving, uh, like how to check that your lights are working, things like that. And then one's going to be whilst you're driving, so I guess checking how to demist windscreens and uh, all that fun stuff. So uh, we can go into this a, a little bit more detail, but that's the basics of what's changing on December 4th. 2017 so it's nothing too crazy uh, but it's just I guess to try and make an attempt to improve the safety and real-world driving standards on the roads in the UK so let me know in the comments what you think about that personally I don't think it's that big of a change it's very interesting that turn in the road and reverse around the corner have gone um, I don't see why they've removed them uh, rather than just add the new ones on to select some more to maybe increase the difficulty of that I, that's what I would have predicted um but to see those gone is really interesting um not that they're gonna be missed i don't think reverse around the corner is gonna be missed by anyone um because that was always that always seems to be the one that people dread the most to get is reversing around a corner something that's quite curious as well is uh and there's no set date for this yet but apparently driving test examiners might have to wear body cameras at some point so you're gonna see driving test instructors going around with like gopros strapped to their heads or something like that or like police wear it's on their chest um, because apparently there's been several cases of uh, driving test examiners being abused uh, and shouted at and, and physically abused as well as verbally as well. So that's interesting. Uh, I can't see how that's going to change anything apart from the fact that you can't punch a driving examiner in the face um, if he tells you that you took the roundabout in an illegal way. Um, which, I don't know, there's no problems with that. Um, apart from the fact that the people taking the test, I think, should have to... Uh, be allowed to record as well if the examiners can do it because currently you're not allowed to take a camera on the test um which i think is dodgy personally why aren't we allowed to take a video and then post it online as like a control so that it looks like, so it doesn't look like we've been you know cheated out of our money um for taking that test i can't see any reason why we shouldn't be allowed to film too 
Here's an example from uh, Auto Express's website. In March, a driving test candidate in West Yorkshire who was asked to stop his car after committing a number of serious ever errors swore at the examiner and drove wildly across a dual carriageway. The examiner had to use the dual controls to stop the vehicle and the driver was banned from that test centre. <laughs> So I don't know, I guess it's probably quite scary to have a nutter um, driving you around whilst you're examining him, but uh, let us put a GoPro on our head as well so we can get some dank YouTube videos too. And then finally on this uh, driving test change news, 2018 is supposed to be the first time that learner drivers will be able to use motorways in the UK. Uh, if for some reason you're watching in the USA, a three or more lane roads in the UK which have a 70 mile an hour limit over here um, and for some reason currently learners aren't allowed to use them I guess because of the higher speeds and all that. So, uh, people with a proper examiner or their parents or someone who's been driving for a fair number of years will be able to accommodate learners uh, on the motorway. For one there's a couple of pros and cons to this. I think pro um, it will reduce the amount of people who are terrified of motorways and they're should increase driving standards but it might take a while for that to happen in the first place it'll take a good few thousand learners and a good few uh, thousand hours before uh, people will start getting really comfortable uh, on the motorway far quicker um, because it, it seems to be a big thing like people pass their test and then the first time they go on the motorway it's almost like a scary thing so even though motorways are arguably a lot safer than normal roads because it's just a constant flow of traffic with lower speed difference so it's a really interesting move. Um, I think it's fair game. I, I made a video at the start this year questioning why learners weren't allowed to drive on motorways. Um, so yeah, I think it's a good move as long as it's properly supervised, obviously. Um, and it's not just like a nutter and their nutter friend going out on the motorway because they think it's fun. However, an interesting point here is that it won't be included as part of the test. Uh, and I, again, we mentioned this way back at the start of the year, uh, but I guess that's because there's uh, not all test centers are near enough to a motorway within like you know a 20 minutes drive or whatever so that's fair game i think um and i think it's fair game that they're letting learners on in the first place as long as again it's all properly supervised otherwise we're going to see some big shunts on the motorway with uh, new drivers and little fiestas so let me know what you think of all these changes in the comments guys remember december 4th is the new change uh for the driving test in regards to uh, show me tell me the maneuvers uh the sat nav section and the independent driving section so keep that in mind if you've got your test booked for then i'm sure if you're with an examiner uh instructor sorry uh they will already have kind of mentioned this so keep an eye out, study up on the new techniques i will make some more in-depth videos on this fairly soon but that's a good roundup again because i'm off to insomnia 61 in birmingham uh this what well, tomorrow practically if you're watching this today um, so if you're down there, if you're down at Insomnia, come and say hi. I'd love to, love to meet some of you guys if you're there. And I'm sure I will see some of you guys down there too. Make sure you drive safe, guys. Uh, good luck if you're on your driving test soon. Thank you for watching. Thank you for 18,000 plus subscribers. And I will see you guys soon. Peace.